Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome to Tidy Cauldron, a game where we have to fit various magical ingredients into a cauldron. And it sounds easy, doesn't it? Just pop things into a cauldron. It should be nice and simple. But no, this is a puzzle game. So each cauldron has a different layout, and the things we're putting into the cauldron each have a different shape. So we have to work out the best way to fit everything in. It's a bit like Tetris, I suppose, only with skulls and bat wings, and I have Newt and other witchy things like that. So here we go, let's dive in and see how we get on. However, please do just bear in mind that this is a puzzle game in the Geek Cupboard with me playing it. So I apologise in advance for the inevitable ineptitude. Okie doke, here we go. And very logically, we're going to begin with spell number one from our lovely spell book here. There are in total 100 different spells or cauldrons or challenges or levels or whatever you want to call them. There's a hundred of them to work through, which is quite a lot. But let's go right back to the very beginning and complete number one one shall we so what do we have to do to work on our very first spell okay cauldron green stuff in the cauldron off to a good start and we have a new ingredient which is a candle a little red candle there with the sort of wick wiggling around useful when it gets dark absolutely that's kind of what candles are for okie doke so what do we have to do ah right in the middle of the cauldron we have two squares so that's our kind of inventory grid, if you like. So effectively, we're going to be playing inventory Tetris. But right now, I think we've got a little kind of happy hand-holding tutorial level type thing. So I think we pick up the candle and we drop it in. Like that. Nice and simple. We've brewed a potion. What kind of potion is that exactly? We just put a candle into some sort of green goo. I wonder what kind of potion that was. Some sort of like a light potion? An illumination potion of some kind? I'm not entirely sure. Okay, let's go to the next then. Okay, so spell number two, we have one candle. Ah, but the, uh, the sort of the squares, the inventory spaces are in a slightly different orientation. They're now side by side rather than sort of on top of each other. However, it looks like we can rotate things. There we go. Drop that in. Absolutely amazing. We're brilliant at brewing potions. Go us. New ingredient, a glass jar what's inside oh i see what you did there i see what you did because inside there is a little snake oh, i'm sorry snake friend i'm sorry but we are going to have to put you into a potion although you are inside a glass jar so does that mean you're going to be okay i'm not entirely sure right so a slightly bigger grid okay this seems fairly obvious i mean yeah i know i'm not the best at puzzle games but this is quite nice so far there we go all very good right potion brood let's go to the next so number four ah Okay, we have a skull and a bit of bone, like the end of a leg bone or something, the end of a, I don't know what leg bones are called, femurs or fibulas or something, I don't know, but whatever the case, like the end of a bone that's been sort of snapped off or whatever, and then a skull with its teeth all smashed out. How very lovely. Okay, so I think there's only one way this can go, so that has to go there and that has to go just there okay so that's where we sort of get this sort of uh, the blockers coming in to provide a little bit of a challenge now so those shapes i imagine the skull and the sort of bone thing are going to appear and they are going to get in the way a bit new ingredient a white cat okay hello white cats the white cat is a sort of an l shape type thing meow 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 okay no cats were harmed during the making of this game right okay are we not are we not going to put a cat into here? I mean, typically, typically a cauldron is over some sort of heat source. It's over you know, fl fire, flames, that kind of stuff, you know, hot stuff. Are we going to be all right putting a cat into here? I kind of feel like that might be a little bit mean. I'm sorry, cat friend, but we might possibly have to put you into a potion, which is probably not great for you. But OK, here we go. So I think drop that in like that, pop that in there, pop that in like that. And there we go. Wonderful. Potion brood. Apologies to our cat friend there. Sorry, cat. Okay, next potion. What do we have? Spell number six is a cat and again the jar and the candle. Okay, so that might have to go down here. And then the cat... Ah, no. The cat is facing the wrong way. Okay. Ah, no. I see it. I see it. Put that there. Cat goes down here into the corner. Candle fits over there. Marvellous. Okay, potion brood. Again, I'd love to know what potion that is. What does a potion do 
that has got a cat, a candle, and a glass jar with a snake in it. What what kind of function does that potion serve? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. A new ingredient for spell seven, a bat. Okay, now we're getting into proper kind of witchy stuff. All we need is the aforementioned Eye of Newt, and we'll be doing some proper witch stuff. I feel like I need to do some cackling or something. <laughs> that kind of thing. You're saying hubble, bubble, toil and trouble and all that kind of misquoted stuff. Okay, right. So did you know that baby bats are called pups? I did not know that at all. Thank you, game. Look at that. Fun and also educational. Marvellous. Okay, so the bats are in a sort of, again, yeah, sort of like a Tetris shape, if you like, but with a fun little kind of bat thing going on. So that can go in like that ah there we go right i think uh oh no no that's that's not gonna work because that is the wrong way round so hang on put that there rotate that like that and put you in like that there we go right wonderful so now we're get, getting into sort of slightly more challenging things although not in you know massively challenging i'm thinking that might go there and that might go there and the candle can go in like that. Yes, we're absolutely flying through this. We're amazing at potions. Ah, okay. So now we've got four things to put in into a relatively big grid, but the top two squares are sort of blocked off with various sort of you know, skull and bone things. Okay, so if we put one of you... Ah, right, that can't go there because then we can never fill that in. So I think that's an absolute no-go. Oh, hang on. We have to take it back out to rotate it. Okay. What if we put that in like that? Maybe the candle goes in across the top. Do you go in? Yes. Oh, that looked like I knew what I was doing. That was amazing. Again, apologies to, you know, the, the bats and the cat. I, I suppose the candle and the person whose bones we're kind of bringing to a potion. Apologies for having to use all these bits. But there we go. New ingredient, a pink tentacle. It's wiggling. That slimy thing moved. I saw it. Okay. We've got a slightly creepy tentacle. Okay. So there's a creepy tentacle. A couple of candles and a couple of bats. Okay. So no cat and no jar. And now we've got a full kind of grid to try to work this out. Okay. Now this, this is where it starts going a bit wobbly in terms of, um, in terms of what we do here in the Geek of it. Because generally when things go like this, I tend to not do very well. It, this is getting, it's getting slightly tricky and it's a puzzle game. I'm sure we can muddle through. Although, although hang on, I might have just stumbled across the answer for that one. There we go. Brilliant. Right. That is all very good. Um, ah, there we go. We now have one each. I oh, know I'm going to bat actually. I was going to say it's one each of all the things we've sort of picked up so far, but no, we have no bat. Okay. I mean, that thing can only go into three different places. It can go either here or here or here. However, it can't go there because then nothing can fill that space. So I'm going to put that down there for now like that. I'm going to put the cat across the top. I'm going to put that. Oh, yes. Uh, do you know what? We'll put the candle in that way. Why not? Yeah, take that spell 11. We absolutely flew through that. Okay, a couple of tentacles, a cat and a candle. Right. Okay, so how are we go? Oh, hang on, turn that round while it's like that. So if we put the candle down there like that, that up there, no, that's that that's not going to fly. Nope, that doesn't work. The cat does not fit. So let's take that out and take that out and take that out. I don't think the cat's going to go there because then, oh, or is it going to go there? No, I don't think it is, actually. It can't go there, can it? Because we can't fit all the other bits and bobs in. So the cat doesn't go there. So maybe the cat sort of tucks down into that corner. But then we're going to need something to kind of cut down here. And they don't... They're sort of... Uh, they're sort of I don't know, positioned in the wrong way. So they can't go into this corner. So, okay, what if we do that? And then... The candle goes like that, and then that'll have to go like that. No, that's not going to fly either. Oh, no, we've, we've hit a, a marginally tough bit, and now it's all going wrong. What about that? Put that in like that, and then put that in like... Ah, ha, ha, here we go. Is this going to be okay? Is this is this going to fly? Uh, no. No, it's not, because now we can't fit the candle in. 
Although, I feel like that's sort of nearly there or thereabouts. I feel like that can't be too far off, can it? Um, maybe, hang on, take the cat out. Put one of those into the top, a bit like that. And then put one of those, ah, there we go. There we go. We got there in the end. Wonderful. Okay, slightly trickier, spell 12, but that was okay. A new ingredient, a blue tentacle. Ah, there we go. Yeah, it's kind of yeah, oriented, the orientated the other way. Yet another tentacle. Where do they all come from? I don't know. I mean, a blue thing, presumably. A, a blue kind of aquatic creature, I would imagine. Okay, so candle, tentacle, tentacle, bat, bat. Uh, oh, crikeys. Okay. Okay. So I think let's put a bat at the bottom like that. And then that tentacle could sort of sit on the top like that. Uh, ah. But then we've got to fit something in here and something in there. So if we put, say, that into there and that just there, that doesn't quite work. It doesn't quite fit. Botherations. Okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. No, that's not, that's not going to fly. Okay, take that out. What if we put that there? Take you out and take the candle out. So that sits in the corner. And then... I don't think that can sit in the corner. That might have to go like that. That means the candle would have to go in like that. And then maybe that could fill in that gap. That could go in there. Oh, have we done it? Oh, yes. Oh, look at us and our amazing potions. This is very good. Right, spell 14. Uh, we've got ourselves a jar, a bat, two pink tentacles, and various kind of obstacles in the way. They've already, had, uh, already added a few yeah, sort of poor, unfortunate souls into there. Um, right, again, this can only go into a set number of places because it's quite big. So if we put that in like that, and then put that down in the corner like that, that's not going to work. So no, don't put that there. Uh, that, ah, okay, no, take that out, what if the bat goes there, yes, and then that goes there, no, <laughs> we need a blue one, we need a blue one, and it'll all be fine, oh, hang on, no, like that, because the bats are sort of a bit like the blue tentacle, but with an extra bit on, and they're a bat. Okay, no, this is fine. Oh, crikey, now I've got many things, although a relatively open kind of grid. Um, okay, so we take this, and we take that. Okay, they slot in like that. That means that can't fit anywhere. Okay, so that's definitely not the way to go. So not like that. Um, could that move? That can't move over because then nothing can go in there. So, okay, so not like that. Oh, and then we've got to fit the cat thing in as well. <laughs> ah, puzzle games, puzzle games. Here we go. Right, let's, let's begin the puzzle game shenanigans, shall we? So that in like that. That can't go there. So I assume that can't fit like that. Maybe that goes into the corner. That could go like that. That could go like that. Oh yes. Oh yeah, yes. We are potion masters. And now we have an eye. It's an eye. I mean, is it an eye of Newt? Is it an eye of Badger? Is it an eye of Penguin? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. It's an eye of something and it's looking at me intensely. But hello there. H eye. Okay, so bats, cats, a candle and an eye. Right. Okay. Now this is this is all fine. Everything is fine. Okay. So put that into that corner. Bring that in. But now we have got things that can just fill up one gap, which is quite good. Oh, there you go. Hooray! We just did that one. Yay for spell sixteen. Right. Okay. So that's good. That's all fine. Uh, what's that in the corner, by the way? There's a thing up there. That's not an ingredient. Is that telling us how near we are to completing the the spell? Is that like an, a little kind of eye of approval or something? I do not know. Um, okay, that we're going to put there. And then, oh, this could be, this could be tricky, couldn't it? We're going to put that in like that. That can't go like that because the bat's there. 
that could potentially go like that. No, that doesn't work. That oh, this isn't going to work at all. Okay, no. Uh, get rid of all of these. These can all come back out again. Uh, the candle. Could we put the candle down there? And then the cat. No, we can't put the cat there because then there is no room for the um, the big jar thingamajig. So what if we put that there? The big jar thingamajig there. The eye next no, because the bat doesn't fit. Oh, bother. Okay. <laughs> right, bat, you are being a nuisance. Away with you. There we go. Um, although nothing's going to fit in here now. Nothing's going to fit in there. Okay, so take that out. Um... Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. Move that out of the way. Put that there. Put the cat in like that. Put the jar in like that. And 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 I'm very excited about that. Yeah, put all those things in. And it doesn't work. Hooray! <laughs> oh, I thought that looked quite promising. Botherations. Okay, never mind. <laughs> um that's not gonna work either. That's not gonna work either. Um okay, this is where the um this is where you can all begin shouting at your screens, saying, Penge, you've not put the thing in the right place. Oh, yeah, that's never going to fit just there. It's really obvious, Penge. <laughs> oh, dear. Puzzle games. Um, okay. I don't think... Uh, I mean, yeah, look, it's that's not... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. That could go. Can that go there? And then that still can't fit anywhere. Okay, bother. It's going to overlap slightly, which is not ideal. Okay, take that out. Take that out. Can that sit? No, not like that. Not like that. That would be sit like that. And then can we get that coming in like that? No. <laughs> no, we cannot do that either. I mean, that's me assuming that all these bits are in the right place. I'm assuming that goes in that corner. I don't know. Does it go in that corner? I've got no idea. Um, okay. We must be able to work this out. Uh, okay, get rid of that. Right, put that in like that. What can go across the top? The cat... The cat would have to cut in like that, though, wouldn't it? So the cat is going to have to... Well, if the cat goes there, the eye goes in the corner. And then that goes in... That can't go there, either. <laughs> Oh dear, oh crikeys. Okay, okay, right, no, I don't think the cat goes just there. I'm going to click that because it might give us a hint. It might give us a little hint. Um, no, it doesn't. It, it's just it's just an eye of disapproval at my general rubbishness at this. Okay, no, no this, uh, this is all good. Um, we need to get something into that corner. And there's only a few things that can fit. I mean, the candle can fit into that corner. We've kind of discounted the candle so far, but maybe maybe that's what we're supposed to do. Um, the jar's got to go in here or here. So it can't, that can't be like that. The jar could go there. And that could, hang on, then it's got to fit that in with this. Oh no, it, it, is it something a bit like this? Uh, like that. And then like that, I remember back. Yes, yes. Oh my goodness me. Right, there we go. Through blind luck, we got that done. Okay, right, there we go. That was the first proper challenge we've had. Um, I don't know what all that is. What's all that? That's go home. That, I think, is going to restart the level if you've gone horribly wrong. You can't be bothered to take all the bits out. I don't know what that is. Does that give us a clue? Is that some sort of like little kind of hint thing? We've got a three on it. So does that sort of say, do you know what? Yep, you can uh, you can have a little clue, but you can only do it three times. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, right. We've got two bats, two jars, a cat and two eyes. Uh, okay, what if we put a bat there and an eye there? Fills that corner in. That's nice and simple. And then what if we did that? Uh, hang on a minute. Rotate that round. Put that in. Ah, oh, that's that's not going to quite work, unfortunately. <laughs> it, oh, hang on. Hang on. Take the bat out. Put the bat into there. And then the cat can go there. And the eye can go there. Yes, we're amazing at the potions. I need to keep an eye on the eye thing in the corner. New ingredient. A green toad. Okay, right. Again, proper witch stuff going on. Some say it's a toad, others a worm. Honestly, I don't know. 
Okay, right. It looks... I mean, it looks relatively jolly. Is that a little smile? Is that a tiny smile on its rosy cheeks? I mean, I feel a bit bad that we're going to throw it into a cauldron of you know, presumably quite hot liquid because you know, it's got bubbles in it and that's how you make a potion. Sorry. Sorry, little friend. Um, oh, crikey. Okay, right. How are we going to fit? Oh, hang on. No, this should be fairly easy, actually. I think. Yeah, that's nice and straightforward. Boom. Marvellous. Okay, potion brood. I didn't keep an eye on the little thing in the corner. Um, okay, right. So it's a blue eye at the minute. So it's blue. So let's see what happens when we start putting ingredients in. Does it sort of change? Does that change colour in any kind of fashion? If we get bits right or anything like that? I'm, I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced. Although, we are about to complete this. What if you click that? It sort of just stuff comes out of it. Put that in like that. And it goes gold. Okay. Right. Marvellous. Okay, spell 21. We have... Oh, crikey. There are so many things. <laughs> um, I think you're going to go just there. Because I think you're about the only thing that can fit just there. That might go... Ah, that can't go there. Because we haven't got any eyes to fill that gap. So... Um, will it have to be... Yeah, one of those things can go there. Then one of them... Then possibly, oh dearie me, how do we fit all these bats together? <laughs> One cannot go there. Okay, take that out. Put a bat there. Put a bat there. Uh, where can that go? That can go. Oh, hang on. Yes. And then rotate that around. Pop that in like that. Yes, we're amazing at this. Okay, right. So yeah, yeah, proper witches now. Frogs, bats, cats, and again, the little candle. Just, you know, throwing a splash of, you know, I don't know, texture possibly for the potion. Maybe the wax is quite good. It yeah, makes it drinkable or something. I don't know. Um, okay. So this, oh, this is going to be quite tricky, isn't it? Uh, I think that's going to have to tuck into that corner to go around that bend. And then maybe that's going to come in like that. That's going to go in like that. That does not... Oh, hang on. Hang hang on. A, a potion brewing minute. Okay, right. That was... That was fortunate. I'll give you that. New ingredient. A blue flask. A basic water flask. It's not even magical. Boring. Okay. <laughs> right. So we've got a flask of just exciting water. Yay. Um, but it is quite tall. It's three sort of squares, three slots, whatever you want to call them, high. Okay, right. This is going to be quite tricky, I think. So put that there, and maybe that around that bend. Uh, that could potentially... Oh, no, that's not going to work like that, is it? Hang on, no, that's, that's definitely not going to work like that. Um, okay, move that. Put... Ah! Aha, hang on, hang on. Is that what's got to happen down here? Uh, hang on a minute. We need to recreate that, but down here. So like that, and then that can go... Oh, no, there's a, there's a one there which can't be filled up. So that's, that's definitely not going to be what we need to do with that. Okay, never mind, never mind. This is fine, this is fine. <laughs> Everything is all over the place. Okay, that... That's not going to work. That that doesn't work. Okay, okay. That might tuck into that corner. Like that. And then... Oh, hang on. Hang on. I think that sorts out that half. So then we have to fit these into that half. Okay. So... How? 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 I mean, that's the question. Just how? Just how does that happen exactly? I'm not entirely sure. Um, not like that, though. Definitely not like that. That can't be right either, because that can't fit. Um, oh, bother. Okay, no, that, it, it can't be that. I don't think that can go with that, because they're too long. I think that's just too long. Okay, right, let's put the water in just there. So the water we know is relatively tall. And then what if that goes in like that? No, nope, because that leaves a gap of one. That leaves a gap of one. Oh, this, this water is proving to be a little bit of a bothersome thing. Um, okay, oh, hang on. What if we do that? 
no again because there's a one just there which we can't fill in we haven't got any eyeballs to fill those gaps in okay right not that then let's just uh, let's keep trying different things do you know i think maybe what we need to do is work on where the cat can go because i can't see where it can go where it's not going to cause loads of problems so if we put it there there's a one just there so that's not going to work so we can't put it just there and uh, we can't put it there because that leaves a gap of one we can't put it there because that leaves a one we can't put it there because that leaves two ones so i don't know where this can go so i assume it doesn't go on that side it can't go there it can't go there because there's a gap of one so it can't fit so it can't go there because there's a gap of one there it can't go there well i don't know where this can go I, I genuinely don't know where the cat can go without causing problems because we haven't got an eye. If we had an eyeball thing, it'd be fine because it could just sort of slot into uh, one of the gaps. But no, we haven't got... Ah, ah ha ha, hang on, there. That goes in and that goes in like that. Oh, hang on, oh, bother, hang on, we have this... D there we go, yes. Okay, right, marvellous and boom. Okay. We got there. We got there. So it was that cat was key. Once we figured out the cat, everything else kind of slotted into place. Okie dokie. Uh, right, spell number 24. We are flying through these now. Um, oh, it's the same kind of layout in terms of the grid with the sort of, you know, the terrifying skull parts, but um, it's different ingredients. Um, okay, hang on a second. They look similar. They look very similar indeed. Hang on a minute. Hang on. What? <laughs> this looks like the same kind of a thing. Um, is it? There's that and then the bat and then the candle. Oh, okay. Yay, we did spell 24. We are brilliant at potions. New ingredient, a blue toad. Okay, so the green one, but kind of flip the other way around. Will it turn into a prince if I kiss it? Should I even try? Damn me, if you want to give it a go, if you want to give it a try, that's fine. What you do in your own spare witchy time is none of my business. Okay, so if we put uh, that down at the bottom, uh, that could then go like that. The cat might be able to kind of slot over there. Um, you could go into here, and then we've got that not fitting anywhere which is which is just great oh, I'm, I'm so glad that doesn't fit anywhere into this grid yay brilliant okay not that then um take that out put that at the top take that out where's that gonna go in like that take the eye out take you out put that in like that <laughs> no that that doesn't work at all well uh okay take that out I think, I think that has to go like that. That has to go there. But then, yeah, that doesn't fit into there very well. Okay, maybe that doesn't have to go there. Maybe, oh, that's definitely not going to go like that. Um, okay, okay, oh, hang on. Maybe that goes around the corner. Maybe that tucks into that corner. And then that isn't going to work, though. So not like that. Where can this... Where can that go? It's got to slot together with that, I think, with the bat. So take that out. The bat might have to go in. Oh, didn't turn it round like that. But then that isn't going to fit anywhere nicely. No, okay, yeah, the game just went, no, absolutely not. Not playing with that one. Thanks. Uh, that could go there. That could go in like that. The bat could go there, but then the water and the eye. Well, the water can't fit in. The eye would be fine. Okay. Okay. Right. Let's let, let's go back to the start, shall we? Let's put that into that corner, because maybe there are some other things at play here. So put that in. Oh, we haven't got the candle. Uh, that might be one of the only few times we haven't seen a candle. But yeah, we can't put the candle into there, because there isn't a candle to go anywhere. So what can go down here? So that could go in with that. And then the bat. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. Hang on. I think I've just seen it. I think I've seen it. And ta-da! Spell 25 is done. We're brilliant at spell. Spell 26. Okie dokie. 
Um, let's take a look at that. So that can go in like that. And then it's just a load of water. It's a load of water with a toad and a tentacle. Okay. <laughs> right. Oh, this is going to be tricky, isn't it? This is going to be a little bit trickier than I would like it to be. Where can the tentacle go? Where? Oh, crikey. Yeah, that doesn't really fit anywhere very well at all, except... Hang on, take that out and take that. Fits in there like that. But then we haven't got any other locations for the water to go. Um, yeah, the water doesn't fit. Well, it does fit, but we can't fit it in with that thing. Okay. Okay. Not there then. Not there. Right. Tentacle. Where can you go which isn't going to be a pain? Um, uh, there? No, because then we can't fit anything in down there. Can't fit anything in on there. Okay, so rotate it round. It can't go there. It can't go there. It can't do any of these. Can't go there because, again, there's a slot there. Uh, it can go there. Okay, so water and water. And then round the corner. And then and then just put the water in but bend it round. <laughs> no. Are we not allowed bendy water? Okay, right, no, we can't no, We can't have that. Okay, right, no, not that either. That's not going to fly. I think the main issue that I'm having with spell 26 is the location of the pink tentacle thing because it can't go into many places. I like that. It can't go there because there's a gap there that we can't fill and I don't think it can go anywhere else. It literally can't fit anywhere except in that top bit. And then if you rotate it round, it can't go in too many places. It can go there but then I don't know how to work everything else around it. So that would have to go in like that. And then, yeah, that can't go in like that. That can't go there. So that would have to be a water thing. But then, yeah, we tried that before. And the water thing would have to go in there because that's where it can fit. And then that's not quite right. So I don't think that goes there. And it doesn't really go anywhere. It goes there. But again, we can't put it there because there's a thing in the corner that we can't complete. And it doesn't really go anywhere else. Rotate it round again. It can't go there because there's a one in the corner. And yeah, we can't put it to too many other places. It can go there, but there's a gap there we can't fill. And then if we rotate it round like that, it can only go just there. It can go just there. But we've kind of seen that doesn't really work. And it can't go there. And that's kind of it. So I don't know where this is supposed to go. I'm I'm very confused. I do not understand how this is supposed to work. Um, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I'm going to try pressing this thing and just see what happens. Does it put something in place for us? I'm not entirely sure. So let's click it and say, oh, skip the level. Ah, okay. You can retry later. Okay, so we can skip three levels. Um... Okay, okay, right. I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it a little more effort, I think. I think you know, spell twenty-six is proving to be is proving to be troublesome, but we should be able to muddle through. It can't be that difficult, can it? Um I mean yeah, it's the big the big water things. That maybe goes in there like that. That goes in like yeah, there's a gap there, look. There's a gap there that we just can't fill, and that can't go there because of the gap that we can't fill there. Um Okay. Yeah, this is this is tricky stuff. We put that in like that, and then there's got to be that. We keep doing. We keep ending up with this kind of arrangement of things, but it just doesn't work. It doesn't work, game. <laughs> Move these skulls out of the way, and everything would be perfect. But no, you have to have skulls in your potions, right? Okay, let me go back to just you know, staring at things and hoping that it all sort of works out. Oh, hang on a sec. Hang on. I think I've worked it out. So the tentacle goes there. There's some water at the top. We put you in like that. We grab that water bottle and put it in like that. And we pop that in like that. And there we go. Complete potion brood. I would like to, if we could, get up to spell 30. I think that would be quite a good idea. Although, I did notice. I don't think we'll have time to do it. But I did notice if we just nip back over here uh, and go to play... And then pick our level. So I think in the top right corner we can see the sort of the thing we're using to do our potion mixing. So at the moment we've got a good old classic witch's cauldron. You know, big grey metal thing over a fire. And it hubbles and bubbles and all that kind of stuff. Um, however, if we go on to here we can see level 38 
which is quite a way off, has some sort of like, you know, uh, what is that? Like a star type thing, like a pentagram sort of a thing. And then level 70, which we're never going to get to on this run, um, has a sort of, uh, I don't know what that is. Like a pink, like a crystal ball of some kind, possibly. I'm not sure. So, yeah, there are different levels as well. We just haven't quite got to that one yet. But, okay, let's have a go at level 27, shall we? If we can get up to level 30, I'd be quite happy with that. Well, we shall see. I mean, don't hold your breath, everybody, because that might end horribly. But, uh, yeah, we'll give it a go. We shall give it a jolly good go. We're just going to try and slot these things in. Oh, although, I think maybe... I've just completed level 27, spell 27, whatever, by just pure fluke marvelous. Oh, new ingredient, a black cat. Okay, whoa -em, whoa -em. Looks like this cat is reverse. Oh, ah, I see, right, it's meow, but reverse. Okay, I get it, okay. I wouldn't have thought which would put a black cat into a, into a potion. Aren't black cats and witches sort of, you know, buddies and such, but okay. So now we've got four cats and a jar a jar with a snake in it okay so does that go there and then oh that's going to be tricky how huh? what's going to go in there i don't think that does go there i think one of the white cats will go there and or oh, or not then oh how how is all this going to fit oh this is going to be horribly complicated um but no, not like that. Okay, what if that moves over? That goes in. But then we've got this jar. The jar has to go somewhere. Okay, this is gonna be this is gonna be horrible, isn't it? Okay, spell 28. Why must you be so mean? Okay, do you know what? Put them around like that. Oh, hang on. Put that in like that. Um now oh, botherations. I thought I'd I thought I was onto something then, but no. I don't think we're quite there. No, look, it's ever so slightly kind of out of shape. Okay, never mind, never mind. We can keep trying. I think, yeah, we're nearly there. It's got to be sort of there or thereabouts. Ah, right, I think I might have just worked it out. So that cat goes there. The jar goes there. Put another cat in like that. And then get you. Hang on, that goes in like that. And then that goes. Okay, no, I haven't worked it out. I thought I'd worked it out, but no. Oh, the, hang on, no. Hang on a second. No, you're, you're the wrong way round, Black Cat. <laughs> you're the wrong way round. Oh, botherations. Okay, although, hang on. Can we reposition things along here and make it work that way? No, we can't because now that cat's the wrong way round. Oh, good. Hang on, take that out. Take, we're nearly there. We're nearly there with this. Although it's not like that, I don't think. Okay. That can go in, uh, come on, it's got to be like this. It's got to be something like this. There we go, there we go. And then that can go in like that. And that can't go in like that because it's not the right way round. No game. Um, okay, oh, oh, yes. Boom, okay, right, there we go. We got that, I knew I knew that was how to do it. I, I, I knew that, I was just teasing you all, it's all fine. Okay, spell 29. If we complete this... We're gonna call it a we're gonna call it a day and go. Do you know what? We're good at making potions now. It's all fine. We've got to spell thirty. I'm happy with that. That's all very good. Thumbs up. So one final little challenge here, and I think that has to go there. I don't think anything else can go into that space. Um, yeah, that can't go in. That can't go in. Okay, so that's kind of a given. So I think that has to go into that corner. Um, as for everything else. I'm not entirely sure. So that a bit like that, that. Oh, okay. Hang on a minute. That one was relatively easy. Yeah, because we kind of had a given thing in one corner. Um, and there we go. Spell 30. We got there. Do you know what? Let's complete spell 30. Because then we've kind of done that then, haven't we? Then it's done. We've completed the 30th, which, yeah, that's pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. We'll drop that in like that. Um, oh, what? Really? I just did that without really putting any effort in. But there we go. Right, spell 30 is done. And, oh, we have a new ingredient. A green flask. A flask with a few more bubbles, but still basic. Where are the exploding stuffs? We don't want that. We don't want any kind of more peril. We've already got kind of weird tentacles and you know, the bones of our enemies and such like. Let's not add more peril into this. But there we go. So that's the new shape of a thing. Um, yeah, they're quite big. 
They're quite big, those things. But uh, yes, we've completed 30 spells from our spell book. I think that's a very good point to call it for now. Let's wrap things up, shall we? Because, um, yeah, it's a bit of an odd thing, really, because sometimes... I just sort of, yeah, you know, just sort of, I know, move the bits around and it works just by pure sort of chance. Or I might see something and think, ah, there we go. That's going to work. Whereas other times, I, it just doesn't, it just doesn't fall into place. And I spend a long time staring at the screen going, how does this work? You know, I move many things around into you know, many different positions and eventually I kind of happen across the answer. So yeah, it's, it's a curious one there. Sometimes it's really obvious and sometimes it takes a while and sometimes the answer just kind of falls into place as if by magic. But there we go. There we go. That was Tidy Cauldron. And you know what? It's a lovely kind of fun, laid back, quite charming, quite simple to play, but difficult to master game. It's one of those. If you like a, a puzzle game like this, if you like a sort of a Tetris style, sort of inventory Tetris sort of a game, then um, yeah, this one is probably a good one that you will enjoy because yeah, as you go along, you get different kind of shapes of things and yeah, it's all a nice theme as well. And it does look good. I do like how it looks. It's got a kind of a, a sort of a fun, sort of you know, quirky, cartoony look to it. And yeah, the things animate look, the little kind of bits animate on the squiddy bit and the you know, the things bubble and the bats blink and what have you. So it's all kind of animated as well. It does look very nice. And yeah, I think as you sort of go along, it's quite good you get the different things introduced. You get the different kind of you know, items and shapes or whatever to call them as you play. Um, and I do think the level of challenge is pretty good. It is pretty good. I know I just said that you know, sometimes I stare at it, but I can't think of a point where I've stared at the screen for any longer than a few minutes. I've not spent you know, 20 minutes staring going, I don't understand how this works. You know, the computer has not been at risk of being thrown out of the window or anything like that. You know, it's, sort of, you know, it's relatively straightforward. I know we're only on the early levels, but you know, it's, um, it's a good level of challenge so far, I think. And um, yeah, we've only covered sort of, where are we? We only covered, what, about a third of the game? Just shy of a third? Because, yeah, we got to level 31. So if we got to 38, we'd see something slightly different. I don't know what that is, but I imagine, yeah, we're putting things on a on a kind of a... a yeah, is that like a pentagram, do they call it? Things on like, I don't know, like a summoning table or something. So I imagine we'd have different items to go onto the table. And then here, we've got this kind of crystal ball thing. So I imagine, again, we'd have different kind of things that would be, I don't know, located within the crystal ball. And then here we have our pantry. So the pantry, oh, it shows all the things that we've unlocked, look, so we can click on them and find out about them. Okie doke, there we go. So you can sort of look back on the items you've picked up. So, oh, there we go, look, there we go. There's a plus, there's a kind of a gigantic eye shaped thing. Yeah, there's all sorts of different bits and bobs. There's some sort of plant there and some sort of weapon type thing and meat cleavers. Oh, there's a gigantic spider and a snake and some sort of voodoo doll type thing. So yeah, there's plenty of things to unlock. So yeah, that was Tidy Cauldron, a lovely fun little puzzle game, and I've had a lovely time with it. It's been a lot of fun playing, but yes, we shall wrap things up for now. Hopefully you did enjoy this and it didn't cause you too much frustration and you didn't pull too much hair out because of my ineptitude. If you did enjoy it, then please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs and nonsense that we get up to in the Geek Cover. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I'll see you next time. We found a whale. Pandas. Hello, panda friend. Oh, you're adorable. Good deal. Two deer. Penguin, penguin, penguin. Peacock. Oh, we've got an owl. We've got manta rays. Parrots. And there we go. Beavers. Yay. Yes, it was an eagle. It's a turtle. We've got a narwhal. We've got frogs. This is... I love this. <laughs>